Okay, so I guess this is part two of two on a couple more Windows Vista tips and tricks, I guess. So, start out with going to Windows Defender. Hit the Start button and type in Windows Defender. Under Programs, the first one. This program, if you don't have it, it does come with Vista, but if you're on XP and you don't have it and you want it, go to Microsoft.com, search for it, and download it. It's, it's a great program. I, I'm not totally sure if it's compatible with 2000. Service Pack 4, I believe that's the latest, but I would imagine it is. So it, it's basically a virus software. If you get something bad, then you can go and hopefully clean it out. So first thing, go up to the top and hit Tools, Software Explorer, and then in here, you've got all the programs that are starting up when you start your computer. Well, most of them. Well, the third-party programs. is in not Windows, not Microsoft Windows. So you can disable and remove what you don't want or what you don't need in here. So it, Microsoft shouldn't let you mess it up too bad, so I wouldn't worry about it. And then also, I'd recommend you scan. Do a full scan, maybe. I don't want to do that now. But scan it maybe once a month just to make sure that everything's running smoothly. Then you can go to Device Manager. Start, type in Device Manager. If you're on XP, start, Control Panel, System, under the Hardware tab it says Device Manager. In here, these are these are the hardware devices on your computer. There's my, my wireless card, my Ethernet jack, my SDA, standard compliant SD host controller, my sound, Keyboards, mice, all that jazz. So let, let's say you have something under modems here. Like this is my modem. Let's say you had that expanded when you opened it and there's a little bubble there. Well, that means Windows can't use whatever that is. So that well, let's say it's, it's uh, network adapters. My NVIDIA Enforced Networking Controller. Let's say that was the problem device. Then I would go to NVIDIA.com or search for that device and download the driver. So you want to make sure everything is working well in there. Good thing to do. Also, keep your computer updated. Take care of it. Keep keep uh, checking for Windows updates. Let Windows do it primarily, but you know you get a couple updates from Microsoft a week, so keep those installed. And definitely, this is just me maybe, but definitely install the service packs. I would never dream of not installing a service pack. You got to keep it updated. You got to keep it secure. So, I will leave you with that now. This, again, was part two of two. So, hopefully you watched the first part. And those are just a couple more things you can do with Windows Vista. So, oh, also, another great program you can use is CCleaner. Go to www.ccleaner.com, download it, and this really cleans out your system. does a great job. You can check over here what you feel is necessary, applications and Windows, scan the registry, and then one last thing, go to Options, Include, Add Folder, Expand Your Hard Drive, Windows, Software Distribution. This is the file that Windows downloads your updates to. So after you've installed your updates, you can go ahead and delete this, delete what's in that file. And then go over and run the cleaner. And I just ran it, so there's zero bytes removed. And it'll give you a little bit of information about your computer at the top. And it's just a great tool. It's free, so I do recommend you use that. And uh, thank you for watching part two of my video.